this is really gameplay. So it's in-game, uh, uh, really uh, what you will experience during ga the game. So here, it's a you know, beginning uh, where you will be able to create and customize your character. So there is a small cutscene with a painter that is, you know, trying to draw your portrait and you can choose here your gender, of course, but also uh, some different faces and also, well, hair color, different haircuts and so on. So it's what we used to see in different uh, uh, RPGs. I mean, it's not that uh, original, but uh, we, see, we try to make it, you know, relevant with uh, with the time period. So yeah. we try to have some haircuts that are, you know, I, consistent. I like I like this haircut a lot. <laughs> we see a lot of, of different sort of novel ways of doing a character creation screen. You know, in Fallout, it's like sh it's like shaving. But yeah. it, uh, this is such a nice touch to be sort of sitting for a, a portrait. Uh, now you just you just had a, a brand new a brand new trailer that really emphasized sort of the. The character side of things. I feel like when we talked to you at E3, it was all monsters and, and mm -hmm. the terrifying yeah, wilderness stuff. And now I find out that we're not monster hunters. We're actually, it's all about diplomacy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, at the beginning of the game, you will learn re really about all that because you're creating, your, your character, the Sade, um, is a diplomat. So, uh, he's part of the court. You're the nephew of uh, the Prince Dorsey, who is, you know, a uh, very important noble uh, from the congregation of merchants. And you're sent with your cousin. Uh, to this island, so to, to Tiafradi, the island has been discovered 15 years ago or something, but the congregation is not here for, for, for a long time. They have begun to build a small city and your job there will be to establish some relationship with uh, the other nations from the, the continent, but also obviously with the natives and to try to, you know, um, communicate with them to try to understand what is happening on the island and even if your personal main goal is to find a cure for the disease that is actually plaguing the continent and that your mother is dying from um, well you will also have to you know, to do a lot of diplomacy uh, with different other factions that are here, and it's, it's not just the factions either. You have uh, you have companions too, right? Yeah, each companion is related to one of the factions. So there is five companion, and there is five other faction than the congregation of merchants. So uh, there are all important people in their faction. So their voice will matter. So when you're going to visit, for example, some you know other governors from the other uh, nations or some uh, kings and queens of the native, the fact that you have a companion with you that is also important in their faction will probably make them you know more welcoming and uh, these companions can help you understand what is happening uh, in the faction what you should know about you know the different tensions or you know the political setting of the of this faction and uh, of course if you're bringing the uh, someone from the opposite faction it can, you know, lead to a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not really great diplomacy. It's like, hey, I heard you hate these guys. <laughs> I brought yeah. one of them. <laughs> one side of my brain wants to ask you all about the skill trees, which we just saw. They're very in depth. Yeah. The other side of my brain just wants to scream out, like, is that some sort of badger bear? What was? There's so many <laughs> wonderful monsters in this game. Every time we see this game, I feel like there's crazier creatures that start coming out of the woodwork. Well, we try to create some original creatures, different from what you are used to see in this type of games. So there are these animals that are different, and uh, the idea was to create the same, uh, I would say, um, amazement uh, feeling that um, probably some um, when, when some people reach so, uh, some new islands and new country, they discovered you know strange fauna, strange creatures. They were trying to draw them, and most of the time it looks you know very strange and we're very <laughs> weird when we're looking at the, the drawings now. And this is what we wanted to 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 give back to the players, so a kind of amazement feeling and uh, and the discovery also. I, I really love that because if you look at like cave paintings of horses, they're like kind of thick, yeah. and then you're like, did they have weird horses, or did they just draw horses <laughs> weird? <laughs> With uh, very small head. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think overall this game has, it, it It doesn't look familiar. It doesn't look It doesn't look like the same as everything else. It's it, It's got a unique look, and the, the monsters have their own kind of uh, original designs. Uh, I read somewhere that you did a lot to kind of create a custom language. Yeah. 
So all the natives uh, have th the natives have their own language uh, that uh, well they when they are all only together they will speak their own language. They of course speak English too uh, when they are you know talking or uh, exchanging with uh, with the settlers. Um, they may not know all the words uh, depending on uh, how far and how deep they live in the island. Uh, of course, some clans that are living close to some settlers uh, are, you know, more used to use English as the others. Well, um, they won't like even to use English, so they will, you know, be reluctant to to talk with you. But uh, we create that language um, really to reflect also this uh, difference, uh, this cultural difference. And we worked with a linguist that really create a completely new language. It was very funny because we we had the actors, all the actors were playing some uh, some natives they had to learn that language so the linguist do you, you, the linguist is living in shanghai and <laughs> he was sending some video with him saying hello i will you know today we'll give you a course on uh, on tier friday <laughs> <laughs> and all the actors you know were repeating in front of the video it was oh, very man. very funny but they were amazing very professional and it was for me very moving to hear that language you know being talked and uh, finally seeing these characters taking life. Yeah, I mean, to, to make a video game from the ground up is a, a, an immense project, and that's when you're, you, can, you can even be following the lead of other games that are out there. And you're like, no, we need to create original monsters, and oh, by the way, let's have a foreign language as well. Why not? <laughs> now, that's, <laughs> that's an undertaking. Th this is kind of like a tragic question, but you're uh, essentially, in, I, I would, I'd say, invading a sort of a native space where there are creatures indigenous to that area in the wild and you're kicking their asses and they're spitting blood everywhere are you kind of are you kind of the bad guy from some perspective well you can i mean as a player we have had plenty of choices you will meet plenty of different people you have to understand that even the different faction they are not thinking all the all the people are not think, thinking the same thing and acting the same way mm. so uh, among the natives there are plenty of different clans each clan has his own philosophy his own point of view on the settlers and you can you know decide to support some of them or to uh, or to fight them and it's exactly the same for the other faction and nation coming from the continent so uh, it's really up to the player to decide how he wants to position it himself uh, you know uh, facing all these different characters some native will ask for his help and some others will you know don't want to do anything with the settlers some will try to fight back and you can really decide during the game to side with the natives and say okay if in the end I don't want to be the bad guy and right. I want to you know to mm. be uh, to, su to support them so it's really up to the player to to decide and you know make his own way through the game and through this the story based on his own you know uh, philosophical choice or <laughs> just you know just emotional or how he feels towards some characters and no. there is no moral judgment from our part and so there there are T uh, uh, you know, the emphasis now is there are tons of characters. There are there's relationships, there's dating, there's friendships. Those things can go sour. Um, how? What does that look like on the back end? That seems like tremendously complicated. And keep in mind, I have no idea how any of this is made. <laughs> and honestly, it was it is huge. And for us, it was uh, well three years of development nearly. And we are a small team. We are 30 in the team. We went up to 50 on some moments during the development. But we are a very small team, so we had to work a lot to be honest um, but it's really ha made out of patience we, we completely are fan of this type of games um, we were missing this type of games since some time yeah and that's why we wanted to you know to, to create again this type of game so well, we spend some time with the team to create this universe, to give life to it. We know that we can't compare to, you know, to a huge studio where they have hundreds of people uh, working on it, but we come with our honesty and our really our love for this media. And uh, I hope it's visible while playing. It's a generous game, and uh, we had we tried to add all we could. So crafting system, as you can see, it's in the videos. I I Thanks saw some, some kissing there. Is there are there <laughs> romance options? Yeah, there are romance options. If no. you if you break up with someone in this game, will they kill you? No, but well, you may lose some friendship also. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, there are some romance options.